So the Snapdragon 865 has been announced and every year Qualcomm make a reference device which shows what it could look like in an actual smartphone. And we've been able to do some speed test GX testing on the Snapdragon 865. So what are we gonna pitch it against? Of course, we're gonna test it against the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Which one do you think is going to win? Let's find out. So we have the Qualcomm reference device with the Snapdragon 865 on the left hand side. We have the iPhone 11 Pro Max with the Apple A13 bonnet on the right hand side. Two different processors, two very different companies that were now into the cryptography test and a slight lead there, I think, or into the SQL light test. Did, that was, did you see that? That was amazing there. The SQL light test on the Qualcomm reference device, absolutely blazingly fast. That has given the Qualcomm reference device a bit of a lead now over the iPhone Pro Max. And what is interesting, of course, is that this uh, reference device is generally a little bit slower than what we find in the real world when Samsung, LG, uh, OnePlus, whoever release their uh, Snapdragon 865 phones next year and we're into the 16th thread test and already the Qualcomm reference device finished that ahead of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. It is looking very good now for the uh, QRD as it's now into the blur test. It finished the blur test. It's now into the infinite scrolling test as the iPhone 11 is now into the infinite scrolling test. Could this be the year when Snapdragon 865 devices are on par? Now, we're in the smoke particle test looking a bit dark there on the left it is running i think that's the camera that's caused that problem 28 frames a second there on the left hand side 30 frames a second on the right hand side we're now into the test the qrd had a bit of a lead going into this test however i think if we're looking at that the iphone 11 is doing well it's catching up it's going to overtake it now yes it does overtake it it's going to get to the end of the valley first what a final time will be there with it one minute 15.5 and now the other one, one minute 16.2 wow that was close Okay, let's break down those times and see exactly, let's see exactly what happened there. So as you saw there, the iPhone 11 Pro Max won with one minute 15.5 and just a fraction of a second later came in the Qualcomm reference device with one minute 16.2. So what happened when you look at the CPU times, 36.6 for the uh, Qualcomm reference device with the Snapdragon 865, 40 seconds for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So a win there by the uh, reference device. And then when we get into the mixed CPU GPU, we can see that the Qualcomm reference device had 22.6 seconds, 21 seconds for the the iPhone 11 Pro Max, giving a slight lead there now by the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And then when we got into the GPU time, we saw that the GPU performed very well there on the iPhone 11, 14.5 seconds compared to 16.9 of the Qualcomm reference device. So means overall, when you add up the CPU, the mix and the GPU time, the iPhone 11 came in just a fraction of a second faster, one minute 15.5. My name is Gary Sims, this is Speed Test G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up because it is sticking around by subscribing to the channel. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.